What is up, you guys? Hi, welcome back to my channel, Cindy's Tarot Channel, where I do tarot, pick a card readings, and whatever I want. Today, I have two pals today. This is just a general reading of what you need to know right now. For the first pile, I have the Labyrinth Tarot card deck. I got this from Target. <laughs> And for the second pile, I got this upside down. I got the pocket tarot deck. And I got this from Target as well. Take your time and choose whatever it calls out to you. I'm going to take a swig of my beer. If y'all are beer drinkers, this uh, a cut scene. If y'all are beer drinkers, please get this victory. Berry Monkey it is so... This is like one of the best high-gravity beers I ever tasted. This is a 9% high-gravity beer. I don't know if it says it on there. Yeah. 9.5 percent that says 9.5 it's this is so good one of these you'll be so take your time pick whatever calls out to you i got lashes on the side of this girl <laughs> all right so pal one this is the labyrinth pal um two is the pocket tarot we're gonna start with pal one so if you chose the labyrinth tarot deck which i'm getting used to reading because it's a new tarot deck this is your reading Hold on, my child is so loud. Give me a second. So, pal two, let me see if I have any um, channel message for you. Yo, the song, um, the baddest of them all. I think it's called B T B O T A. I love that song. I see you going dancing. Oh, you might be going out to the club or like to like a reggae club somewhere that you can dance i don't know i feel like it's not like i'm not gonna say ratchet music like it's not like it's like a mixed club because i'm hearing like hip-hop but then i'm hearing like dance music or i'm hearing like house music so you might be going out to like go dance i just feel you could be in a house dancing like you could be like playing music and dancing like or like just feeling yourself like, that song is in my head. I just posted that song on my story. <laughs> so that song could just be in my head. But is there, are there any um, channel messages for pals? One, I don't know why I said pal three. I only got one pal. I mean, two pals. Um, you could be dyslexic, pal one. <laughs> you could, like, not know what's going on. Like, you're just going with the flow. Like, if it feels good, you're just, yeah, you're here for it. Yeah, your judgment is all over the place. You don't know right now. Like, you could be a little ditzy right now. You're like, well, I'm just so confused. Like, or like, you're like forgetting to do certain things. Like, why did I do that? Or like, I forgot to do this. Or like, how did I, like, <laughs> like you're moving out like throughout your day. And you're kind of like <laughs> confused. <laughs> Eddie, all right. What, what's going on, Power One? Yeah, you're confused. <laughs> do you see this? like there's just so much like i feel like you have so much to do you don't even know where to start like i advice for you how one you have to start on like little things like little steps at, at a time focus and hone in on one thing at a time like you, you or it's gonna feel like this so it looks like something like there's a missed opportunity here because this is the ace of junk is the ace of pentacles and that's the opportunity so something was reneged so somebody could have been offering you something and they took they took it back somebody may have been offering you a job they took it back somebody was just offer you something and they took it back okay um i feel like it's because in your eyes you made the like a wrong choice but if you see this card it doesn't matter how you flip this i feel like you're still gonna get the same outcome which is victory like you're still gonna be victorious anyways you're still winning anyways like it doesn't matter like if you if you feel like oh i did wrong by this person or oh i did wrong or i i got the wrong answers you're still you're still on the path of victory what's the judgment card in reverse so whatever you feel like oh i made the wrong choice i'm getting bad karma i feel like it would have it would have got you to the same place anyways the nine of swords yeah i feel like you're really with the yeah you feel like you made like some a hasty decision like something too fast or you didn't make a decision soon enough and now you're worried about like the karma or like your decision can you clarify the world card please sir can you clarify the world card the eight of wands reverse so you could have ended something like you could have quit a job like you just i don't know you just walked out of your job or something or like you could have blocked somebody you just walked away from a relationship, but you didn't even speak to them. Like, 
there's not like any messages i see like a block like i see like the world card like an ending or like you could have like this traveled somewhere without telling somebody like you block somebody and then you went on vacation or something like you block somebody went on a vacation or you block somebody and moved on with your life you blocked like you just quit a job and like just went on vacation you could have quit a job and went on vacation or just quit a job and moved on with your life something like that i have the eight of cups in reverse yeah now you're thinking now you're kind of thinking about walking like you walking away like maybe you're like oh maybe i should i shouldn't have walked away or like maybe i should go back or so you walked away from somebody who didn't want you to walk away maybe that's why you're kind of like oh am i gonna get bad karma for that the six of wands he clarified the six of wands no i see you in a new victorious relationship <laughs> i see you about to get married like no you're fine like you're not about to get bad karma from that at all like the six of wands your victory is your new love like you, you have a new true love it could be a water sign or they can be i don't know i feel like they're a water sign moon like they could be like a cancer pisces scorpio moon and they can have fire in their chart but i feel like they're a water sign especially if they're men or well if they're men or female i feel like they're a water sign and they probably got like a an aries venus i said aries, i didn't mean to say aries venus <laughs> you could have an aries venus or somebody has an aries venus or like they have like a Sag moon or an Aries moon or a Leo moon, which, ooh, a Leo moon. But <laughs> um, I just feel like this person's gonna take you out dancing. Like, I don't know, like, it's just, it's really nice. So if you're thinking, if you're like regretting how something went with somebody else, no, it's supposed to go that way. Like your victory is about to be this new relationship. Can you clarify the dancers, the lovers, please? Oh, maybe that maybe you're going out dancing with this person. Oh, the two of, I can't make this up, y'all. The two of cups came out with yeah. You may like don't the no. Maybe you feel like this new love coming in. Um, hold on. The six of wands. Yeah, it was like this. The two of cups. I'm not making this shit up, y'all. Like you, you're literally meeting like a new lover. Like that's like. You got the lovers in a two of cups. This is like um this is, they're definitely a water sign. They could be a Pisces. I don't know why I'm getting Pisces so heavy. You can be a Pisces, but I'm getting Pisces energy off of this so heavy. And like y'all talk all the time. Like I even though this is like a victory, you you're gonna know this person because this person talks to you every single day. This person has not missed a day talking to you, bro. Every single day. This person like loves you, like you might not think you could have just met this person and this person actually loves you like this is love and you can love this person already so you just love somebody and you're like oh i shouldn't have done it that way and i'm getting bad karma no honey i see quite the opposite you're you're getting very good karma <laughs> like even like it didn't matter how you was gonna deal with this person it was gonna end up the way that it ended up now so if you blocked this person and moved on with your life or this person blocked you and went on vacation with somebody else or like this person i don't know i just see somebody blocking somebody and then going on vacation or blocking somebody and moving on like never speaking to that person again if you did that because like i see the the king of posing i don't see no communication be if there if your last person was like a fire sign i don't see no communication with you in this fire sign no this, per this person pushed you into your success. So that person was there for you to be successful. Especially if they were a Sagittarius. Especially if they were a Leo. I'm getting that fire energy heavy. Especially if they were an Aquarius. Especially if they were an Aquarius. Or they had like this cold like demeanor. Like um, what is the emotionally unavailable demeanor about them. All right, any other general messages for Pi One? I don't want to keep y'all too long. The devil, the devil, the tower, yo. This, this is spiritual. I'm not gonna lie, y'all, because the, the devil. Well, this is the demon. The devil and the um, the dancers came out. So the devil and the lovers came out. So you just left your karmic. Basically, you just left your karmic. And now you're with your soulmate. Now you're with your 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 soulmate. So you probably just left your twin flame karmic situation. Now you're with a soulmate. Like this person, your new person. I'm telling you, your last person had to be a fire sign, bro. 
it had to be a fire sign it has to be a fire sign this fire sign could have capricorn heavy in her chart they have aquarius heavy in her chart they have sagittarius heavy in her chart if you know their chart that's all i'm getting they have to be a fire sign it could be like a sagittarius with like a capricorn moon or like a fire sign with a capricorn moon or an aquarius moon or they could be an aquarius with a sag moon so that person was your karmic that person was your bad karma actually um i'm hearing we only say goodbye with words i died a hundred times you go back to her and i go back to this person could have went back to an ex on you no like this happened suddenly like finally it is i feel like you would want to break up with this person so badly but this person had a hold on you and now this person does not have a hold on you no more and now you have like the love of your life in your life that's beautiful i'm so happy for you finally it has happened to me the eight of cups came out <sighs> yeah you you just was not satisfied in the situation i'm so sorry this is just about love because this is, does not have to be about love this could be like a a corporation so if if it was not a karmic this could be like a corporation a big corporation like you work for like geico or like um comcast or at&t or sprint and you were like so unsatisfied with the job and all you thought about every day every day that you went to this job or every day you spoke to this person or every day you you woke up with this person in your life or you woke up with this job in your life you're like i want to leave oh wait this is the seven um the seven of cups but after this feeling like you wanted to leave Oh no, the seven of cups, the eight of cups is here. That's what I'm saying. You wanted to leave and now you're gone. Like, and now you're thinking about it. I feel like you were comfortable there. So now it's kind of weird without it being in your life. So you're like, oh, should I double back? Should I reapply? Or like, should I call them? No. I feel like you need to explore your options. I feel like you're kind of overwhelmed with options too. I feel like you got a lot of options. Like, that's all you think about. Like, you just think about how much, like how many options you had or how, what other, I'm sorry. There's like this ghetto <laughs> how many options you have or like you're just so overwhelmed with options like you can be a female and you download an app and you have like 70 people liking you a day like you're like this is too much like you rather have been in your toxic relationship but no you need to like, you know go through these options because you're about to meet the love of your life literally or like you need to apply to new jobs like i know you just quit your job or like maybe you're still at the job and you want to quit look for jobs because you're going to find your dream job even if you just started a job, look for jobs because you're about to find your dream job. Like, it's about to make you very victorious. Any more advice? Yeah, you were just unhappy in this. Look, like, unhappy in a situation. This came out between the um, the Seven of Cups and the Devil card. Like, maybe like you're not happy about searching for new jobs. Like, you're at work searching for new jobs, or like you're like literally next to this person. And you're looking at like other people on your phone because and maybe like all your options are not satisfying you or like this person's not satisfying you and your new options are not satisfying you either maybe that's why maybe it's some time to yourself pal one i feel like you're getting a little codependent because if you need somebody else to move on you're codependent but i can understand like if you need another job before you quit yeah but if you need somebody else to move on, but no, you're codependent. And this person went, like, this person's going to go back to their ex anyway. So they're they're going to, you know, have somebody because that's just who they are. Yeah, and this person doesn't want you to walk away from them. I feel like, I don't know why I keep getting this. Like, I feel like once you're about to walk away from this person, this person's going to dangle marriage over your head or dangle a relationship over your head. Cause they know that you're about to walk away and they're trying to prevent you from walking away because they feel that you're about to meet the love of your life <laughs> so this person knows that you're about to meet the love of your life because this person is getting they're getting like hints they're getting intuitions like this person's intuitive too they're the devil like the devil knows the hell going on he walks to and fro on the earth like he's getting like oh they're about to meet the love of their life I can't let them walk away from me. I need to keep them stuck. I need to keep them in between. I need to let them know, like, hey, maybe one day we'll get married. Maybe one day we'll be together. Maybe one day we'll do that. But this person doesn't give you anything in the end. And this new lover, they're going to give you everything. They're not going to go a day without talking to you. They're always going to make you feel loved. They're going to fill your cup up. Like, if your cup is half, um, half empty, they're going to let you know that your cup is half full. And they're going to fill your cup up. This new love or this new job. 
yeah like this person is doing you a big injustice being in your life I just feel like you think that you're gonna get bad karma from walking away from this person. I feel like this this person's karma is you walking away from them. The three of pentacles, yeah. I just, I see you getting a new job. So if you're looking for a new job, you're gonna get a new, a new job and it's gonna work out better for you. Or you, you'll probably get a new job and you know keep both of them jobs, okay? So if you work from home, if you get another job from home, you're gonna keep both of them jobs, <laughs> okay? But like, this person, if you're with this person, if you stay with this person, they're going to want to have their cake and eat it too. Like, you're not the only one. Like, they're eating off of your plate and somebody else's plate. So, if, if it's a person. I told you, they have, they're still talking to their ex, this person. And they don't want you to go because they know that if you leave, you're going to get married. Like, <laughs> this, like, fire sign, Aquarius, or this Capricorn, Aquarius, Sagittarius, or a Leo, like they know if you leave them, you're going to go get married. And that's exactly what's happening. Like you, you're gonna leave this person or you're gonna leave this job and get a better job. Or you're gonna leave this person and go get married. Cause literally like you, like the universe like puts you right, like right into your soulmate. Literally like the universe is like, okay, you done here? You sure? You done? Gave you right to your soulmate, right to your soulmate. Like that's crazy. I'm not making this up the star card you wish for this you wished you wish for this relationship to end you wish for this job to end you wish for a new job you wish for your husband your wishes is granted yeah your wish is granted you could have just met this person you could have just met this person like in the past three like a month to three months you could have just met this person and you're already falling in love with this person this person treats you like they love you like the seven of swords reverse this person would never hide anything from you or like cheat on you they would never they would never hide anything i feel like they're very honest i feel like like i just got so anxious about that i feel like you have ptsd like you can't even just because of like what you dealt with the four cups in reverse yeah you don't want to miss out on this like i feel like you love this person I'm resonating with this reading. <laughs> I feel like you love this person and like, it's just like a wish come true. Like this person calls you every day, they text you every day. Like they don't lie to you. They give you gifts. They give you anything you want. Like if you're like, oh, I want this. Like they'll buy it for you. Or like you send them something like, hey baby, I want this. Like they're gonna give it to you. They're gonna buy it for you. Like they cannot say no to you. They don't like saying no to you. Like they just don't. I don't know. I feel like this person's a little bit of a pushover. Just because they don't say no to you. Like, your new person does not say no to you. <laughs> and if they do, like, they'll, you're, you're still going to get it. Like, like this person, this person's the type of person, like, they'll be like, you'll be like, can I have this, babe? Like, can I get this? And they'll be like, no. And they'll buy it for you <laughs> the next day and show up with it for you. Like, I, I thought you wasn't going to get it. I ordered it, too. Like, you got to cancel your order because you was moving too fast. Yeah. That's the, that's your new love. You're, you're about to get married. I just said that you're about to get married. You're about to get married. Like you're about to sleep real good too. Like I feel like you're gonna have a nice bed. Like you can rest now. Like you can rest in your femininity now. Like you're with somebody who allows you and loves for you to be feminine. Like you can have like you can be buying like a lot of pink. <laughs> I'm in pink right now. <laughs> a lot of pink. Um, you can be pulling your hair up, buying plants. You no, know, decorating your house cleaning up the house maybe y'all live together now but this person wants you as as your wife like as your wife maybe you're your own wife right now but this person wants you as their wife i'm uh, okay one more card for pat one <sighs> temperance that's what i'm saying peace like you're at peace now you can sit in your femininity you don't have to worry about it you're healed you're healing like you don't have to worry about somebody like pulling the rug from underneath you i feel like with this last person that this person like looks like the, the devil with this last person, this person used to like like having control over you, like you know pulling your strings, like being in control over you, and you hated that shit. Now you don't have to go through that. You're at peace. You can be in your femininity. You can be yourself, and you can still be loved and treated correctly and with respect. I don't see this new person disrespecting you, but this old person's energy. It's kind of like I forgot about what the old person was doing. Like you, it's gonna be scary, but you're gonna forget about your ex, like. 
it's gonna be so scary you're gonna forget how your ex looked you're gonna forget how the sex felt you're gonna forget about the trips you're gonna forget about the gifts you're gonna forget about how they sound like you're gonna you're gonna forget their name you're you probably couldn't even like if this person texts you and this person was like explaining who they were it's gonna scare you how much you forgot like this like spirit is taking that memory out of you you could have whispered that too you will not remember your ex your ex could bump bump into you in a grocery store you, you're gonna be like i know this not ridiculous but i don't know who this man is <laughs> i i don't know sorry to this man like literally you're like you're healed in that like that's your gift like your gift is you being healed from your trauma you are gonna forget about your ex you're gonna forget all about them because i couldn't even i don't even remember what was happening here that's so weird i was like what was going on here like literally you're gonna forget their name you're gonna forget their face you're gonna forget how they sound you're gonna forget everything everything y'all been through with each other you're going to forget like you it would take you a lot to remember like that's why i was saying ptsd like you just don't remember yeah six of cups in reverse that is crazy i didn't even see the six of cups in reverse you just don't remember that shit is insane i didn't even see the six of cups in reverse because six of cups is like upright is like remembering the past in reverse you're not going back to the past you don't remember the past so okay so one more thing i'm gonna pull out a quote out of this book this is called she inspires i got this from target so just a random page okay so this is your quote fill your days with what matters most fill your days with what matters most okay that one that is your reading if it resonated comment down below let me know this is timeless so you can come back to this reading anytime you want to i resonated with that reading i did a lot okay so now i'm going to pile number two <laughs> pile number two if you pick this tarot deck this is your reading let me see if i have any um messages Oh my god, like five songs played at one time. Maybe you're skipping through songs, like trying to find a song. I, that song is, I don't know why that song came out. I heard homies over hoes, homies over hoes, do the homie. I don't know. I don't know about that. I don't know about that song. It's kind of gay, which is fine, but not fine when you're on a down low. So if that man put his homies over you, he's gay. Ain't no way around, ain't no way around. That's the other song I was listening to. That, yo, that's the other song I just heard. I heard a bitch gonna be a bitch, a hoe gonna be a hoe. Then I heard homies over hoes. <laughs> so homies over hoes. Ain't no way around it. If he put his mans over you, he like him. That's his, That's the love of his life. And a bitch gonna be a bitch, a hoe gonna be a hoe. My niggas still my niggas. Uh, like, oh. Ain't no way around it. You maybe you gotta listen. Maybe you were listening to who is that? I don't even know who that is. I don't know. Don't give me the line because I'll say Yo Gotti and I don't. I don't know if that's Yo Gotti. Um, maybe you're a Gotti fan. Am I a Nicki fan? Pull up in a song the Unreal Gangsta. <laughs> maybe you're a Nicki fan. Maybe you're a man. And you're a Nicki fan or the Lolo. That's fine. Like why? Why would you not be a Nicki fan? But maybe you, maybe you're a man. And you like I don't know why it's so old. OG Genesis, what's his name? OT Genesis, Yo Gotti. Who is this? This is it's not Jadakiss. I don't know. This is definitely a guy's energy, or maybe like you're hanging out with a guy. I don't know. I'll see. But yeah, that was my channel message. Okay, so for power number two. So for those who chose power number two, what's um messages general messages for pound number two pound number two you might have came from pound number one yeah i got the world card pound number one had the world card as the first card too you're done as well you're traveling like you're either done maybe you just got done traveling maybe you just got done off of a trip or a work trip you got done traveling in secret where, where were you at what were you doing what are you doing what's the seven of swords What's going on? Seven of Wands. Oh, are you from Pal Two? I mean, excuse me. Are you from Pal One? Pal One had kind of had the same energy. Like they felt like they was just worked up or like they was just over it, so they went to go take a trip. 
maybe you've been on a trip for like a week or like seven weeks or maybe you was on a, a work trip for like almost a month and a half now um i don't know you could like let me see maybe you just broke up with an earth sign yeah maybe like your a sugar baby left you <laughs> because that that um <laughs> maybe your sugar baby left you after a trip like after, yeah you could have went on a trip with your sugar but yeah i'm seeing like either you went on a work trip and you had to spend a lot of money on this work trip or like you was trying to fix things with this earth sign sugar baby who be a taurus virgo capricorn sugar baby and he still left you anyways or like you spent a lot of money on this earth sign maybe you wasn't even supposed to be messing with this earth sign and now you're kind of defensive <laughs> about the whole situation because your ego's hurt slightly. Like, now you can't really say, you can't speak on a situation. Yeah, no, nah, you just broke up with somebody. Yeah, damn. I feel like that's all you think about. It's like, I feel like this person like broke up with you in secret. Like, somebody broke up with somebody in secret. It was kind of weird. Like, somebody was breaking up with somebody over the, the span of, like, seven weeks. It was like a slow burn like it's kind of like somebody already left the situation mentally and emotionally and then like they kind of left in secret like they left it's like somebody like left and like went on a trip with some like i feel like you just got off a like you just came from a trip and then your sugar baby broke up with you or like your this young earth sign broke up with you and that's all you're thinking about now and, and it has you defensive like it kind of has you in your ego it has you like clutching like i see like somebody going like this like like it has you like it hurts your chest like maybe your heart chakra is like i don't know something hurts like that shit hurt it like damn it hurted it that shit hurt it i feel like you just came off a trip i don't know i feel like you was being sneaky on a trip you was probably with the homies on a trip because i heard homies over hoes you chose the homie over your hoe and your hoe left you <laughs> <laughs> maybe i don't know <laughs> i don't mean to laugh i don't mean to be one of those tarot readers that laugh at people's pain but it was just this is a lot like we be hearing this shit come out i think <laughs> you was dead ass wrong for that yo oh my gosh i feel like I'm hearing a lot of songs. I think you're listening to the radio. You might be driving like back home from wherever you're coming from a trip, and then you're listening to the radio because I keep hearing like the ra the song switch up. Like I'm hearing, yeah, contagious, touch me, baby, give me what you got. <laughs> Sexy lady, drive me crazy, drive me wild. I don't know. I see your money looking good though. Your money looking real good, pal too. Yeah, I feel like you just, okay. So I feel like you went on a work trip and maybe your contract has ended with the work trip. So now you're heading back home. Maybe it's raining on the way home, but it's a nice drive. Like it's kind of, it's kind of like soothing to you. It's kind of soothing you. But I feel like this drive is really getting to you. You could be saving a lot of money right now. like. Maybe, like, you budget yourself now. Now you have to save, like, $4,000 a month. So you get paid, like, around $10,000 a month, and you always save $4,000 a month. I think you just got divorced or something, or maybe demoted from your job. Like, maybe, like, something happened at your job, and you got demoted, so now you have to go to another location, or you have to go back home and, I guess, wait on that. Yeah, you came out as a... Okay, so you're money-focused right now, so you could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn watching me but you got the, your mind on your money your money on your mind i see you manifesting money right now like man, money's getting easier for you to manifest in a way i feel like i feel like there's no like you cannot move on from a situation it's like you have no clarity about a situation so it's kind of hard for you to move forward like i see you moving on but you're you're very like okay excuse me you could be moved you could have already moved on from a situation but you're still defensive about the situation because you didn't get closure or clarity from the situation the ace of swords and um reverse came out so this person just like like i said like you don't understand why this person broke up with you or like you don't understand maybe you didn't get clarity from like why a job demoted you or like why a job fired you or like why it's either a lover or a job 
because I feel like that's the only two things that you really care about that's really going on right now your money and your lover um like why somebody broke up with you like you just don't understand like why did they break up with you you felt like they were sneaky like they were planning on breaking up with you the whole time let me get some information on that like why what's the um lover card in reverse with the seven of swords I feel like you you wasn't you wasn't willing to be this person's husband, so this person met their husband. Um, or like if it's a job, like you wasn't like you didn't have the mentality, like you didn't want to be a manager, so they gave the position to somebody else. Somebody else is the manager now. That's all I gotta say. Like the <laughs> the Knight of Cups came in. I feel like right after this person broke up with you, they met their husband. Like, it's like immediately, like, this person could have broke up with you that day and then met their husband. Because I don't want you to feel like this person was cheating on you the whole time. I'm not seeing that. I'm just seeing this person breaking up with you. And then a love offer came in. Like, they cleared the energy. The love offer came in. I feel like you didn't, you wasn't playing the position of a husband. This could be for a man. Or, like, if it's, if it's a, you know, if you're a female, switch it, you know? Because I do have men that watch my readings. And it doesn't always have to be you. This could be the other person that you're dealing with, or this could be somebody around you. So if you're wondering, like, why this person just up and left me? Like, why this person isn't saying anything to me? Like, it's because they broke up with you, they moved on, and they met their husband. Like, literally, in that order, they they weren't with somebody while they were with you. They walked away. They're not. I don't see them coming back. Cause why would you come back to this? This shit looks dangerous. Like. It looks like you're going to cut yourself. I feel like you shouldn't go back either. It's not like a a safe situation. This person could have blocked you. They could be a Libra. Yeah, I feel like this person kind of left you. This person kind of left you in like darkness, like in mystery. Because I feel like you you have no problem moving on from the situation but you have no clue you didn't get any closure or clarity like this person didn't say anything this person kind of just it was just like i don't know it could have been i don't know if y'all went on a trip together that's the thing about it i'm trying to let me see <laughs> i can see all right five more minutes pal too it's a I don't know, you could have, why are the same cards coming up from Pow 2? Um, I don't know. I don't know you, if you and your person watch, it, watch me, but cute. Oh, you wanted this. Okay, Pow 2, you wanted this person to break up with you. Now that this person has broken up with you, now you feel like you need closure. You wish for this. You wish, you like, I wish this person would just break up with me because maybe you didn't want to do it. Maybe you didn't want this person to break up with you. This person breaks up with you because I see that they're gone. Like they're gone. They're you're you're probably blocked, pal. Too. Or if you're the if you're um if you're the female, you left this person. Or this could be like for the female. Like if a man like if you wish for a man to stop, you know to stop or like break up with you. You got your wish and now you're confused. You wish for this. You wish for this ending. You wish for this person to break up with you. Maybe you didn't have the balls or you couldn't, you know, you couldn't break up with this person. Maybe the bond was too strong. This person broke up with you. Now they're about to get married. Like they're about to be in like a, a very satisfying relationship. Or maybe like you wish for this job like to go away. <laughs> and that happened. He clarified the star card. The magician came out. You manifested this, pal, too. So you manifested this. You manifested for this person to go away. This person went away. I feel like this person went away, like, out of nowhere. Like, this person disappeared. Like, they, like, like evaporated into thin air. You don't hear from this person. You don't even see this person. You feel delusional because you're like, did this person ever exist type shit. Like, that's how this person disappeared. This person, like, I don't, this is the person who disappeared. They, you were together with this person. You were in like a soulmate type relationship with this person. You went on the you, you either went on a trip with this person or you went on a work trip or you went on a trip. After you came from that trip, 
the relationship was over. I don't know what happened on that trip. Or, like, if you went on a work trip, I feel like you knew the relationship was ending. Or, like, this person could be a tarot reader. Or this person could, could watch tarot readings. Or your tarot reader is on point. Like, you probably like, yo, she's on point. Like, you're not lying. I feel like you took too long to make a decision on this person. You took mad long. So, like, maybe that's what you was procrastinating. Yeah, it's, it's what... Did I say it's an earth sign? This person can be a single mother. All right. Three more cards and then I'm back. I gotta go back to my baby. The same cards. Yes. This is the the earth sign they could be a single mother or this can be your ex-wife and you have a child with this person maybe you don't want to have a family with this person anymore hold on yeah maybe you don't want to have a family with this person anymore i feel like this person's gonna forget all about you that's what i'm saying power two this is like a continuation from power two but this is like the male version i feel like all you do is think about this person and this person's forgetting you or like maybe you're just forgetting about this person and scared you you're like oh yeah I did miss this person. Like, maybe you're, like, missing this person for, like, six months. And, like, one day, like, you're, like, getting over it. And then you remember, like, oh, yeah, I'm missing this person. Like, maybe you're both forgetting about each other. But I see, you, like, all you do is think about this person, especially at night. You you can have a um an earth sign moon because I'm seeing that here. You can have an earth sign moon. Um, This person is an earth sign. Like, this person is an earth sign sign okay this could have been your ex-wife because you took too long this is definitely your ex or maybe yeah this is done okay so i have one or two theories this is the same person this person blocked you or this is your ex and they blocked you and now you have a i don't know now you're about to have a family with this earth sign or you wanted a family with this earth sign and not as done with because they blocked you. Because maybe you're thinking about, oh, what if I had a family with her? You know, what if I was like the stepfather? Or, you know, what if I stayed together? I don't know. You're just thinking about shit that I feel like you need to focus on work right now, to be honest. Maybe that's what you keep tell like telling yourself. Maybe you like thinking about this person all day and then you, you like push yourself into work because... You think about this person all day. Like, you can't do anything but think about this person that you wished away. You wish them away. You sabotage the situation on purpose. It's done. Like, it's over with. Especially if they're a Taurus. Or especially if you're a Taurus. That situation is done. Any advice for Pau 2? I'm trying to hurry it. Go to burn. Cause that person cut the cord it's done i'm not gonna flex this person will not take you back i'm not even gonna flex like i'm not even gonna give you like oh this may no it's a no this person will never invest time into you ever again like it don't matter how many times you hit this person up this person will block you every time like this person is holding a grudge against you they they, they gotta be a taurus because tauruses when tauruses are done it's done because once they see you for who you are they know that you are that person for the rest of your life and if they if they can't do five minutes of you they are not about to take a chance with you so let me um get a nice little quote for you how to okay so the more of her okay so it says the more her own light she allows to shine the more others shine too the more her light she allows to shine the more others shine too. So there you go, how to. Let me know if that resonates with you. And until next time, bye.